right, welcome back. I'm Tiffany Calvert, County Extension Agent for Family and Consumer Sciences. And I'm Angie Hudnell, Registered Nurse, Health Improvement Program Specialist with Purdue Farms. And today's lesson is burn more calories than you take in. And so the first thing that we're going to talk about is just ways to consume less calories because yeah. that's almost easier <laughs> for me much, much than easier. concentrating on the amount of calories that I need to burn. Um, and so some ways to consume fewer calories is simply concentrate on adding more vegetables. When you're consuming more vegetables, then you're consuming less of the sugar and fats and um, of course, if you're not frying your vegetables. Right. And so a lot of times um, for dinner, I like to plan meals that I could easily add fresh vegetables at home, anything that I have in my fridge. Mm -hmm. So like stir fry is a good one. Yeah. And even if you're going to the freezer section and you're, you're buying this pre-packaged um, stir fry with the sauce that's included, that doesn't mean that you can't add more vegetables. That's right. Um, if you're adding more vegetables and you're getting less of that calorie-laden sauce that's um, in that package. Mm -hmm. So um, one-dish meals at my home, like um, crock-pot meals is another one that is really good just to throw those extra vegetables in there. Mm -hmm. um, another one would be any kind of pasta dish. Um, of course, the spaghetti squash would be a good idea. Mm -hmm. Just com completely replace the grain with a vegetable. Um, I add eggplant to pasta dishes, spinach, kale. Um, a lot of times my family will eat whatever if it's, you know, got spaghetti sauce or Alfredo sauce right. in it. And you can really hide a lot of vegetables, especially if you chop yeah. them up really tiny. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah. don't even question it. Um so soups would be another good one that you can just throw in a lot of extra vegetables in there. Um, it's not been too long ago that I made a tomato basil soup in the crock pot. Mm -hmm. And um, I know you would believe this, but um, <laughs> even though it's called tomato basil, I had cauliflower and spinach and in, in, in the crock pot, it just cooked all those vegetables down. Uh -huh. I used a blender, blended all that up. Perfect. There you go. Um, smoothies is another way to get extra vegetables in there. I know, uh, Angie, you have your smoothie with you mm -hmm. this morning. Um, and you can hide a lot of vegetables that way. Um, tacos. Taco night is a fun oh, one. Yeah. You know, we often put shredded carrots on our tacos. Oh, cool. Which is not what a lot of people think. Right. You know, the traditional meat, yeah, cheese, tomatoes, idea. lettuce, sour cream, but shredded carrots. It adds color. It's, it's adding nutrition. And the more vegetables that we're putting on our taco salad, then the less meat and um, sour cream and Speaking of sour cream, what I do at my house is we mix sour, or I mix, <laughs> <laughs> I mix the sour cream half and half. Half um, sour cream and half a Greek yogurt. Oh. Same color, same texture, less calories. There you go. Nobody knows the difference. Good idea. Um, some other ideas would be to pair a sandwich with fruit. Or nuts instead of those french fries or chips. Mm -hmm. um, when eating a salad, dip your fork into the bowl of dressing and then, you know, put your salad onto the fork, a bite of salad, and then eat it. So dipping that fork in the dressing, you're actually getting more flavor for your entire salad and using less dressing. Great um, idea. So that's a really good idea. Have vegetables um, steamed or grilled or baked rather than fried. Um, change your recipes. You know, just because the recipe calls for a whole stick of mar or butter or calls for a whole cup of sour cream doesn't necessarily mean you have to add that. Right. Um, a lot of times you can reduce that. Or, I know I was looking for a healthier version of banana bread the other day. Mm -hmm. And Pinterest is a really good uh, place to look for that. I actually Love found... Pinterest. A banana bread that was naturally sweetened with overripe bananas and honey and um, applesauce. Oh, yes. So it really had no other fatty oil in it. Yeah. And it was moist. My kids loved it. It tasted like banana bread and it was amazing. Wow. Um, so just adjusting those family recipes, you mm -hmm. know. Um, when you eat out, get a side dish instead of a main course, or even if it's for dinner, get the lunch portion. I know a lot of restaurants will allow you to do that. 
And then um, a resource that we have here at the Extension Office is called Nutrition in the Fast Line or the Fast Lane, and this offers various restaurants. There's a ton of them. A lot of our restaurants wow. are in here. Um, just to open it up and kind of tell what restaurants might offer healthier options. Um, this information could also be found on the internet, you know, right there on your smartphone. I'm sure there's an app for it. Um, but some people like this just to keep in their purse. That's good. Or I could be looking vehicle. for where's the next place to eat that's exactly. got healthier choices. Exactly. That way you're just not stuck. And then once you get there, you figure out a burger and fries is your only option. Right. Um, pizza. Pizza night. Top your pizza with vegetables. Um, go with a thinner crust. Go with less cheese. And go with less meat. Mm -hmm. um, so tons of vegetables. Uh, avoid the vending machine at work. Once again, pack your healthy snacks. Um, with me again today, I've got my water, and then I almost ate all this earlier, <laughs> and uh, I was like, oh, I might want to save that and show them, because today I have a grapefruit. So, once again, it was already washed, chopped, and ready, and all I had to do was grab it out of the refrigerator this morning. And, of course, just choosing water. A lot of people drink a ton of calories. You know, our bodies are mostly made of water. I yeah. remind my son this almost daily. If our bodies are mostly made of water, it makes sense that we need to drink it in order to live. Right. So, it just makes sense. Um, I think it's 80% uh, that our bodies That's are mostly right. made of water. And so if we don't replenish that water, nothing is going to function right. And the water is um, what flushes all the toxins out of exactly. us. Exactly. And like sweet tea, you can drink <clears throat> several calories in, in nothing flat. Mm -hmm. um, Improving your water intake is also going to help your blood pressure. It's going to help your diabetes. going to help your cholesterol levels. It's going to help you all the way around. Yeah. So it's good stuff. Yeah. If you drink um, one soda a day, just one. Mm-hmm every day for 30 days, this is the amount of sugar that you're consuming. Yeah, ne nearly a gallon That's in that's one crazy. month. So literally, if you're drinking three Cokes a day, um, there's three of these in a month that you're just, of sugar, just pure sugar that you're pouring down, not I mean, including the other stuff. That's, that's a lot, there. and sugar like this turns directly into fat, mm -hmm. straight into fat. Mm -hmm. Not to mention, um, it wreaks havoc on your vessels. You know, sugars are little crystals, mm -hmm. and so those hang on your red blood cells. Mm -hmm. And when that's going through the bloodstream, that mm -hmm. just scratches the inside of your vessel. When that scratches there, and we eat those processed foods, that processed fat and everything gets inside those little scratches. And then, mm -hmm. of course, that just builds up. Your triglycerides are really high. Your cholesterol is high. Your HDL is too low. Can't handle it. LDL gets high. You know, before you know it, you got heart disease mm -hmm. and diabetes because mm -hmm. of this. So switch over. And I know a Get while back when I was um, decreasing the sugar and. Um, that I was consuming, you know, you just instantly, after you get over the withdrawal, start feeling better. You have more energy because as before, I could drink something with sugar in it and I'd feel great, you know, for yeah, a little yeah. bit, but then I would crash. Yeah, you then crash. Then I would completely crash. So what I always say is, um, because we have some people that come to me and say, you know, I drink maybe a soda every hour. I mean, that's a lot. So, yeah. That's a lot. It's just to keep them awake. They'll do the monster yeah. to get before they come in, mm -hmm. and then they'll drink a soda every hour. So if you inject a 100% juice in there, that you have that natural sugar mm -hmm. that's going to help you. What you'll find out is that that natural sugar will keep you higher longer, and it doesn't drop you like a rock. It just gradually brings you back down. Mm -hmm. So you can do, you know protein in there as well and that's mm -hmm. going to give you that energy that you need mm -hmm. you know there's other things that you can do besides because i hear a lot of people say i really need that though mm -hmm. i really need it um and talking about coffee well you know you go and you get coffee and you get like a big large one um you can switch that large to a smaller mm -hmm. um size and still get your shot of espresso you know this size a shot of espresso Versus this size, you're getting the same amount of caffeine mm -hmm. that you're that you're wanting and needing, but a lot of le less calories. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, the juice we talked about, the tea. You know, a lot of people were in the uh, sweet tea mm -hmm. 
area. This is where we all drink that sweet tea. Yep. There's not, whenever you say, tea, I want tea with no sugar, everybody looks at you like you got mm -hmm. two heads because everybody around here drinks sweet tea. But if you can switch that sweet tea to uh, something else, mm -hmm. obviously that's going to be better for you. If you're still craving that tea, you can do just the tea bags and you'll still get that tea flavor. Mm -hmm. But try to do no sugar. If you can do just a little bit of honey, mm -hmm. then that would be good. Yeah, I use better. honey or um, if we're out of honey, I've used maple syrup before. Good, it takes, good it choice. takes a whole lot less. <laughs> yeah, of because that. that natural sweet yeah. is a lot better, and yeah. it's better for you. It is. Your body is made from nature, and those products are made mm -hmm. from nature. It comes from the bees and from the trees, mm -hmm. and your body knows what to do with that, and it doesn't create all that damage on the inside mm -hmm. like the processed sugar does. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, um, different ways to burn calories. Of course, we know this. We just gotta get active. Right. Yeah. Right. I mean, you got to make a choice. And there's a ton of ways to get active that, because um, I know with myself and my family, if I think of it as exercise, I like already get exhausted before yeah. I even yeah. get there. Yeah. Um, but if it's fun, like go dancing, go yeah. bowling, yeah. go play walk a at the zoo, walk at the zoo, <laughs> yeah. go play a volleyball game. Yeah. Um, just be really creative. Um, you know, even hide and seek within my house on a rainy day. Perfect. Going up and down the stairs, you Perfect. know, and all over yeah. the house. Just do something besides sitting still yeah. and watching television or playing on your phone. Get up and get active. Yeah. Get uh, and it could be fun. It could be yeah. fun. Oh, we talked about doing chores and things like that. Of course, that's another way to be get your exercise yeah. in. And of course, that's not the funnest, but it's things that you got to do. So yeah. you're still getting. But you know, activity. you can make chores fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. A lot of times, I'll just crank up the radio and we'll just dance and have a good time. Perfect. Um, we'll have races to see how many how many of us you know can clean up x number of spots on the floor in a certain amount of time. Perfect. You know, Perfect. of course, I have little guys. Um, and um, cleaning, you know, uh, down on your hands and knees and racing around mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. can get pretty intense. And it's killing two birds with one stone. And right. that's what I like to do. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, 20 years ago, they didn't tell people, yeah. like my great-grandparents or my grandparents, they didn't tell them, you got to exercise. They did chores and they were oh, out. Oh, it was just out part of, of their life. Yeah, that's what they did. They didn't have to worry yeah. about exercise. Yeah, I mean, my papa is 94 years old and still gets out and... And walks through the cow pasture, and it's amazing. A body just, in motion yeah. stays in motion. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Got to keep yourself going. So we hope you can take away some tips. And um, as always, if you have any questions or maybe you have some suggestions and you yeah. run across some things that's working for you and your family, yeah. um, please share them on Facebook. Post them in the comments. And um, we thank you for tuning in today. Mm -hmm.